Hello, I'm IBX Toycat, and welcome back to hopefully another live stream on the internet. I figured I'd try and live stream this channel. I'm always saying, like, you know, wouldn't it be cool to stream on this channel? So today I'm going to be doing that. As you can see, I've got, if you check in the top right, I've got a snake as a shotgun. And although you can't use that publicly, we're going to be doing some shotgun stuff today. Because one of the things I always love in any Call of Duty game, one of the, like, arts of playing it, is trying to use a shotgun... Because it's all about, you know, the game changes from being whatever else is playing, which is about, like, can you control your accuracy and do this and that and all these different steps. But it changes from being all about that to being all about your positioning. Your positioning decides every gunfight. Like, I mean, you can lose some gunfights if you're in a good position and you can win some gunfights in a bad position. But, you know, if, if you're good at the game, you'll win, like, 95% of gunfights if you position yourself well. And that's what the kind of, that's why I love shotguns. There's, a, there's an art to it. And today... We're going to be streaming and doing that and doing whatever else goes on here. Again, I haven't streamed on this channel before. Apparently, you can't actually even have a super chat and sponsorships till you hit a thousand subscribers. So let's make that a goal. Yeah, subscribe to the channel so I can get mad rich from all the... the I mean, like, I, again, it, it doesn't matter too much on that stuff. But <laughs> yeah, we're going to be going into a game. Apparently an empty game. 50 potential games found. So in the meantime, uh, the thing about this game... If you want to hear my thoughts on multiplayer, because I played a little bit of multiplayer, maybe like six games or something, is supply drops seem to be mentioned literally everywhere. Like, <laughs> hey, good job on winning that game. You win a supply drop. And would you like to get some more points for your stuff? Well, if you open supply drops, then. Uh, which doesn't bother me too much, honestly. Like, I thought it would, but I don't feel pressured into buying them. And I don't think you can buy them yet. So when they start pressuring me, I'll feel bad. And for now, I guess... Slippery slope is just what we'll believe in. So yeah, I play, I play Team Deathmatch mostly. YouTube money is the best money. Damn straight, Kale Wheels. Um, but for the most part, I I uh, play Team Deathmatch. It's a really simple game mode. I think with a shotgun, uh, again, it, it like adds to the level of like, can you do well or not? Because in Team Deathmatch, it's about predicting their spawns. And they know you've got a shotgun, so you've got to like, play this game of cat and mouse, almost. It looks like I'm the highest level guy in here too, so... Maybe that plays to our advantage. A uh, thousand subscribers wouldn't be too hard. Uh, you had 400 before you had any videos on the channel. That's true. I mean, like the tip to getting subscribers, as as evidence from this channel, is not to upload videos. Uploading videos is very contrary to what you want to do if you want to get subscribers. But yeah, I'm, I'm thinking of making a bunch of videos just because like it's been a while since I've had an opportunity to be like, let's just make a bunch of videos and then see like people actually enjoy them. So maybe this would be a great, uh, you know, opportunity to do that. I'm not sure. Oh, also, I forgot to mention, we're using the Loftblock drilling. I've got steady aim on this thing. I've got quick draw. I think steady aim might be a bad thing, because the shotgun's already too, like, um... It's got a really tight uh, hit fire spread. Like, the point... Oh, also, throw a grenade there. It's got, like, a dangerously tight hit fire spread. Like, to the point where, like, I... Oh, my, my battery's low. But, um, to the point where you'll genuinely miss shots even if you fire at someone. So maybe this increases its long range accuracy as like a, a trade off there. We'll see, I guess. So yeah, first, first death. Okay, there's a guy here. One hit kill, as you can see. Pretty darn good, two hit, two, two for two. Pretty good for the first couple of shots fired. I've got two more incendiary shells here. If you play with the shotgun class, like the class that's meant for shotguns, you get, you get fire rounds. And there is a part of me that really likes that. But yeah, this map is one of the hardest ones, I'd say, to actually effectively use a shotgun on. Oh, we got one guy, but the other guy knows exactly where I am. Okay, <laughs> I was surrounded by two guys. Um, but yeah, this map is a really hard one to use shotguns on. But I kind of like it because it proves the point even better. Like, it, there's the middle lane, which you usually don't want to go down, but sometimes you genuinely do. There's this, for instance, I've just left a wide open flank. And if you leave open a flank, it's not like, oh yeah, I get into a gunfight and I just probably lose. It's like, if someone sees you at a distance, you die. <laughs> that is your list of options. You know, it's like, it's not maybe die, maybe, oh, I got a grenade kill. It's not maybe die, maybe do some goodness here. Okay, so we're going to go run, run down the middle. Again, it's dangerous. There's a guy there who just saw me. He knows I've got a shotgun. Oh, there we go. Now to... Only one shell left. I really shouldn't have even reloaded at this point, but there's a guy coming, so it's fine. Go! <laughs> That's what I mean by you win like 90% of gunfights in the right position. And that was an example of when I didn't win. Because he hit the trigger, fired three bullets before I could hit the trigger. Which is, I mean, the shame's really on me at that point, isn't it? 
I get what people subscribe to this channel, it's your third channel, but why do people subscribe to a channel that doesn't have videos? Um, I think the fact that so many people subscribe to the channel shows that people use subscriptions to do something... Like, people traditionally, you probably included, if you use YouTube a lot, you probably use subscribe as a way to keep up to date with the channel's videos. Like, that's what YouTube assumed people would use it for, right? That's, that's why they introduced the option. Okay, two more shells, let's go. Over here, maybe. No, there, there we go. One more, one more. Oh, yes. <laughs> Triple kill. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, but a lot of people use um, the subscribe function to do something different than YouTube intended it for. Because, again, it's called subscribe. It's like subscribing to a magazine or subscribing to anything. But a lot of people assume because every YouTuber asks for it, they don't even tell you what they want it for. They're just like, make sure you subscribe. And I guess a lot of people are just like, well, I guess that's a good, you know, maybe they make more money or maybe... You know, it's a way to so you. It's like liking the video or rating it five stars or something. So, oh god. Darn it. Should have checked there. Um, so a lot of people use it as like a like, almost. That's that's my assumption anyway. I could be wrong. But yeah, it weirded me out when I first realized that. That like some things that you just assume are obvious aren't obvious to everyone else. Just, just to you sometimes. There's going to be someone on this left flank. I don't know where. I don't know when. There is someone here. Where is he? Where is he? Run center. Oh god. That's what I mean by like. Bad positioning equals there. Oh god. <laughs> equals death. Oh, got the kill. Got the death too though. I know subscribe people actually watch. I don't want subscribers if I don't have videos. Yeah, but have you seen a lot of people subscribe or subscribe to you? Or like subscribe to the moderators of my channel for instance? And that's cool. Like they can have the subscribers. I'm not offended anyway. But it shows that, like, you know, they, they subscribe to people by association almost. And it's like, well, I like, I like Toy Cat, so maybe I'll triple subscribe. And you know, if people want to triple subscribe, I have... Enemy recon aircraft oh, God, they have a recon aircraft. Double kill. <laughs> so we're doing pretty well this game. Like, again, the problem with shotguns, especially the double barrel, is getting a KD much above two. It's tricky because you reveal your position every shot. And on a tight map like this, and pretty much every map is designed to recreate the same feeling. Uh, okay, there's a guy coming behind here. Let's get him. Oh, assist. Darn it. I can't do that. Check the center. Okay, no one's in the center. Guess we're running down here. Oh, God, we ran out of incendiary scales. It's, it's actually kind of like uh, interesting how, just how much it drops after... How much the damage drops when you stop using these. Like, if you rely on them. Oh, one hit kill. And then there's gonna be another guy. Oh no, he's going around this way. <laughs> like, it's impressive just how much damage you can really do. Oh, and I got him again. Okay, there's another guy though. Gotta reload. Don't see him outside. Oh god. Oh, I ran into his grenade. You see a grenade and you instantly think, like, I should run. You don't realize it's not necessarily the case. Imagine if there was a church or Easter egg. Eh, yeah, making some reference to Easter eggs. I never liked the Easter eggs. I don't know, why, I don't know, something about Call of Duty Easter eggs. Like, every other game I love the idea of Easter eggs. But in this game, they're not really Easter eggs, they're like, War Easter eggs. Like, you get rewarded for doing a certain amount of work, right? Does he know I fired both my barrels? He does, he knows. <laughs> he must have counted. Oh, no, he has the same gun. Oh, fair enough. So we're going to win this. Thank you to me. Just buy some launchers. Yeah, 1911. Not bad for first game. Especially given I'm on a two bar for some reason. Oh, I was just uploading a video. Maybe it's not finished. Nope, it's definitely finished. Oh, because I'm streaming, maybe? Yeah, but I'm on Super. I didn't even notice, like... Say something good about the game's connection that you don't even spot that. Glad to see you got a copy working. I had to buy it on the PlayStation 4 in the end. It was, like, a full-on tragedy. Like, the the realest of the real tragedies. Um, But, uh... Wait one sec. If I lower... The stream output just a little bit. Should give more for the game. Maybe that just magically makes things work. But, um, I love how people upload fake Easter eggs. 
the thing is, is as soon as like YouTube became this mass thing, and people realized there's no way to get popular on YouTube, like just uploading regular videos anymore. Because that happened sometime like five years ago, four years ago, three years ago. How many years ago? Like it gets harder and harder to become popular just being a normal dude on YouTube. So people like to, um, they like to, you know, trick the system a bit. Maybe you lie, but 1% of people like it and they subscribe to you anyway. It's the whole principle of like, any publicity is good publicity. Even if everyone hates you, some people are like, oh, I hate this person so much, I'm going to watch them. It's like a real thing, you know? It's like a real thing. Oh, look, I came top of the game. High five. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, is there any way, like, out of this, or... Am I just straight into the next game? I guess I am. There's gotta be a way to, like, change your class and game, but I guess I didn't skip it fast enough. But you're popular on YouTube and your videos are good. Um, but they're not ordinary videos. Uh, a lot of the videos that I'm famous for, or that went famous, are just, like, somehow the title got catchy and did this or that. Uh, but, you know, like, I, I don't know, like, if I'd have just made videos like, here's the next Minecraft update, but it's fake, I'd have a lot more like, I'd have a lot, I'd have a lot more subscribers. There are people doing it even right now, like even in like something as specific as like, Minecraft Xbox videos. There's a guy who's like, look, this is the next update. It contains guns. Um, it's just the way of the world, it seems. It's gonna be a guy for. Hey, oh god, why did I do that? So we're running down this way now. Does he know I'm running down this way? This map's confusing. The good news is I'm going to get behind people. That has to be a good thing. Can we get this guy? Come on. Don't look behind you. Perfect. That's a free kill streak, I think you'll find. There's in a free kill streak. No, a free. Oh god. Guy saw me. We have to use this launcher and get a kill now. Oh, we did it, I think. I can't, I didn't see any. Yeah, I actually did it. I killed someone. Oh god. Now we have to reload this. Before anyone notices, we're on like a crazy kill streak now. Oh god. <laughs> oh darn it. <laughs> I knew I ruined it when I decided to climb a ladder. Still, six kill streak. Not bad to start a game with. What do you think of the COD so far? Is it worth getting? I think it's one of the better years for a Call of Duty game. It's weird, right? The game is annualized, so you pay for it every year, essentially. Uh, but is that a person? It is a person. I don't know how I missed them there. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say this year's one is probably one of the best ones uh, they've released. But I don't know, like, how much... I, I, I guess, like, it's a good Call of Duty game for people who play Call of Duty, I'd say. Like, they, they basically listen to all the fan feedback. And whether that's a good thing or not is probably yes. And I think people are going to enjoy this game the most. But I don't know if that makes for a good game for like everyday pickup. I'm not sure. Either. Okay, there's a guy there. The only way to get him is to launch him out. That did not actually work. This guy's gonna. Die. Well, I tried my hardest. <laughs> there's nothing else I can do now. Okay, pull out the shotgun again. Someone's coming through this door soon. Now it. Oh, but can can get him. <laughs> better than Infinite Warfare. I mean, it doesn't take much to be better than Infinite Warfare, does it? The problem with that game is like... Darn it. Is, uh... They made the game before they realised how much people hated the future thing. And then they're like, look, 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 you can trust us, it's not really that much of the future. But like, for some reason, I don't even understand it. There's this huge black backlash towards the idea of the future even now. Like, even having a game that, like, vaguely seems like it's futuristic. Like, e even the sites in this ge game, for instance, they have to make them World War II era. Or people are going to be like, whoa. Oh, oh he, he rifled me. Did he see me? Oh, shame after such a good kill streak to, like, start going downhill. But it shows there's more skill in the positioning. Although those other kills were down to not just positioning. More stuff than that. I like that uh, this cod limits the amount in each clip to make the shotgun less OP and more strategic. Um, I 
the problem with um the problem with this shotgun in particular though is I think two in a two in the chamber, two in the magazine, whatever you want to call it. Two bullets in the barrel, I guess you prefer to it as. The problem with two is that it's not really down to strategy once you kill two people. If you run into three people, you can't kill all three of them. And even if you run into two people and they're at something that's not perfectly close range, you can't kill both of them. Uh, it's, a, it's a really good shotgun for one target, but that's kind of... Oh god, there's a person there! <laughs> I thought it was a friendly... Oh, that's that's disastrous, isn't it? It's gonna be a guy. I'm dead. Just gotta kick our grenade, throw it. Oh, gotta kill. Oh, two people. See, two people there. Couldn't get both of them. I probably could have there if I'd hit both right, but my point stands. You know, <laughs> the basic idea that uh, having a double barrel is really not good. Like having more in the clip. Anything above twenty, I guess, is good. But shotguns should be down. Uh, shotguns are down strategy regardless. As long as you limit the range. People just don't like dying shotguns because it feels like it wasn't your fault. Because you don't die in the gunfight like you do with other guns. Like, you'll, whether you live or die, I was decided before the gunfight began. Like, I'm deciding if I win these engagements, not the guy who I shoot, I shoot right there. He decided that one, it seems. <laughs> See, I've got some bad aim, apparently. But you, you can get the point. Also, yeah, um, yeah, this, the secret live stream channel is just like, uh, yeah, it's 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 reminiscent of the mock crush days. I wish I'd realized. Oh, did I kill him? No, he died otherwise. Oh no, he has a grenade. Why did I run into his body? But yeah, it's I, I miss the old mock crush days a little bit. That's kind of why I wanted this, like, just as a chill place. I can talk about cranberries all I like here, yeah. and toothpaste, cranberries and toothpaste, or cranberry flavored toothpaste if I want. Who's gonna stop me? No one's gonna stop me. I'm not gonna do it. Although, why don't we have fruity flavored toothpaste? Like, why is it always mint? Like, just real talk. Very briefly. Oh god! It's weird, I wonder what I'm doing so wrong to hit these people, like, where I'm hitting them. Because I. Oh, I hit the wall. Okay. Oh, because I'm still on the two bar. So my connection ping is over 100 for some reason. Interesting, because I, I love the settings. Guy's coming through the door very soon. Oh, oh god, wrong side. <laughs> like he was firing long before he went through that door. Like, you see that? Maybe they have like a, a radar or something. Or maybe I was just being noisy. <laughs> uh, took out any plans for a mixer stream? Uh, maybe I should just post stream on mixer, like if I'm at it anyway. Last stream was so weird. I had headphones in listening the whole time, but I could hardly watch half the class. Oh, that, that must have been a weird experience. Appreciate you showing up anyway. Being able to moderate in the situation of dire. Uh, again, I, I, I like the, the example. Oh, God. Some people question why you need moderators. And then they vanish and everything everything just dies. Like the chat goes into the, the worst whirlwind I've ever seen. <laughs> The worst one went. Dead. There's gonna be a guy in there too. Oh no, there can't be because his teammate was looking. Like that. It's funny, I'm losing a surprising number of gunfights. Which maybe that's a good shotgun design. I'm not certain. Didn't know you started streaming. How long are you, how are you today? So, okay. I'm doing pretty good today. This, this game coming out like... The whole midnight thing like upset me last night. But I was just like, look, I'm just gonna go to sleep. It's probably not important. I got videos planned. It's all good, and then I'll just stream in the morning. And I'll probably stream zombies again later, honestly, because it's been a lot of fun. But I want to do some, like, form of video stuff. It's like a yearly tradition for me to make some form of videos on release. So I'll probably use this channel, make a bunch of them. It makes a stream, they're getting better, you could get part of as well. I just don't see the mix thing going anywhere. There is fruity toothpaste. I've never seen fruity toothpaste. Like, maybe kid toothpaste. And also toothpaste that black is black in colour. You know, I don't think I could use black black toothpaste. Do you want to at least believe in your head that the reason my teeth are getting white is because I'm putting this white stuff on them every day and that's just magically making it happen? I don't know if I could live with the whole system of like, well my my um hopefully the black turns into white 
when you mix this with teeth enamel. Maybe it's because I'm on a two bar that it takes me so long to leave a game. Like, I want to skip this, but it genuinely doesn't let me. And the next, the next game just kind of begins. I want to change my shotgun. There we go. Yep, all good. Uh, so quick draw is not useful. Advanced rifling. That has to be good. Steady aim in exchange for rapid fire. Probably not a worthwhile trade-off. However, we get a new shotgun in a few ranks. And I'll master that, I guess. Oh, actually, wait. We'll prestige this weapon. That's a thing I know you can do. I don't know how, though. Division options. I think you have to go to, like, a special guy. Oh, I'm not going to make it in time. I want to make it. But it's going to take me away. <laughs> I have even two minutes, but I have ten types of toothpaste in your house. So that's how you know you live in a toothpaste stream. We can really measure one's happiness in life by the amount of toothpaste they have access to. So good on you for having ten types. I love mint right now. I like mint ice cream and mouthwash and, of course, polos. Mint ice cream is, like, really brutal. Like, it's actually pretty good. Like, if you get chocolate and mint. But, like, just by itself. Maybe because I've had too much cheap mint ice cream. But it's just... It's not the preferred flavor of choice. There's a bunch of ice cream places where I live. And I always go for one of the most ridiculous flavors they have. Like, that's just what ice cream is for me. Like, ice cream is ridiculous flavors. Speaking of ridiculous flavors, by the way. While we're here, fun fact. Um... There's a, one of my local ice cream stores sells Red Bull ice cream. And I asked for it, and then they're like, you know, we'll let you try a bit before you commit to that. And I was like, it's fine. But they're like, no, 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 we insist. And I tried it, and I was like, actually, you know, I don't think I'll get some Red Bull ice cream. But they do, in fact, sell Red Bull ice cream. And that's fun. There's a guy just around the corner. Oh, and there's a guy over there, too. <laughs> It's weird, some of the close quarters maps, because they've got too many, like, multiple ended corners. It's down to, like, a guessing game of where you think they are. Well, maybe maybe I'm being too harsh now. But that's like this is like a four-way corridor here. There's a guy coming from over there. Not expecting a shotgun. Maybe he is. Apparently so. Oh, let's get this guy. So that's a pretty good range for a one-hit kill. Like, that didn't even need the, uh... Oh, God. Didn't even need the, uh, the incendiary round. Uh, I'll watch as much as I can. Biology class has no Wi-Fi. <laughs> I love the idea that schools have Wi-Fi to begin with. Like, there are very few legitimate uses for Wi-Fi in schools, I feel like. So let's get this guy, and then we'll get this guy. Enemy recon in the air. And then someone's gonna come for me. Nope, no one came for me. Oh god, this is too dangerous for my liking. Let's get him. Oh no, if I'd have just not fired both, I'd have got that guy. So I think I need to learn like the new range on this shotgun. Staying home sick for the day, just to watch you, says so Kale Wheels. <laughs> I don't know if I approve of that as a scholarship decision, but as a YouTuber, I 100% approve of the basic idea. Oh, man. That's got to be the two bar thing in there, right? Like, firing at someone and then being like, turned out, that didn't happen. Like, I always thought the ways that games have to determine who wins in the situation, where both people killed each other, and then the connection catches up. That has to be one of the hardest decisions to make as a developer. Because everyone hates it when you kill someone and then it turns out you didn't. Like, that's some of the most rage-inducing stuff for most people. So, throw a grenade in there. Doesn't get a kill. No one over here. I guess that means it's getting me, right? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> the, the, the pure power of this thing is just wonderful. There's the guy coming from just round there. No, he's not there. Oh, he's up there. Okay, I've got one shell left. Gotta make it count. Okay. Oh my god. 
That was so ridiculous. I don't know why I have a launcher secondary for a shotgun class, but that's just how I'm doing it today. So get uh, Red Bull, so it gives you dessert and wings. Exactly, yeah, it was dessert. I don't know actually if it, well, there was Red Bull in it, like if I would get caffeinated. <laughs> if so, that seems like the best thing. Like instead of drinking coffee on the way to work, have a Red Bull ice cream, right? You know, I might start doing that. It's too, a little bit too far away for me to go in the mornings, actually. Like, I'm a bit too lazy, and if I haven't had my Red Bull ice cream, I can't be going that far. You got this, Toycat. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well in my game so far. Like, okay, I should say, like... You know, like, doing slightly above the... The even mark. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how the grenade marker works in this game yet. So if I see a grenade near me, I just accept. Well, it's probably going to hit me. Yeah, this is like such a dodgy place to be as a shotgunner. So we'll throw a grenade up there. Exploded in mid-air. Oh god. Didn't see him. But yeah, because there's no like real corner of this map designed for shotguns. Maybe that's for all maps, now that I'm thinking about it. But some maps feel good with shotguns, some just don't. I guess it's to stop you feeling like you're being cheated. What the? <laughs> Maybe I need to get the perk on which allows you to fire after sprinting faster. I wonder if coffee ice cream has caffeine. I wonder that too now that you say it. Because coffee ice cream tastes delicious. Like, coffee is definitely one of the better flavor things. Also, I love eating sausage rolls too, Roxy Gamma. Especially from Greg's. Like, it's one of my, uh. My, like, five weaknesses, maybe. My kryptonite. That's the one. So, I. Guess a guy's gonna come for a bit soon. Okay, from that. Oh my god. Yeah, it's it's really tricky to like. Surprisingly tricky. Not really tricky. Like, it's easier than most guns. To like actually aim this thing. You see that? Like, you get behind cover, but you feel like you're dead regardless. Yeah, it's, it, that's. I wonder how to fine-tune the connection there. Because it's clearly on my end. Give this a reload. 14 and 14. Only guy positive on the team, but our team just got demolished. <laughs> Greg's is the best. The pizza they sell is amazing. I really don't like their pizza. Like, there is no place in my town besides Greg's that sells pizza by the slice, and I've never had it good. You know what? Maybe I should just go try the new... Maybe it's different. I think sausage rolls are a UK thing. No way, a sausage roll's really British? One sec. Sausage rolls. Uh, we're gonna go to Wikipedia. We're gonna work this out. This is it's crucial. Okay, sausage roll. Wik oh, it's a British snack. Popular in Commonwealth nations and beyond. Oh, so it's just puff pastry around sausage meat and glazed with egg. In the UK, the bakery chain Greg sells around 2.5 million sausage rolls per week. 140 million sausage rolls a year. <laughs> that is so many sausage rolls. Wow, I didn't realize that. We don't have Greg's here at five guys. You're missing out, Mega vs. Prime. Yeah, the only reason I go to Greg's is sausage rolls, honestly. Like, I, I don't know if there are many other things you would go there for. I feel like the game is being mean to me of how long it sticks me in these cutscenes. Okay, I want to go prestige my weapon. How do I... No, I don't want to... Okay, here's a supply drop, apparently. No, I, w I want to go prestige my weapon. And then there's five seconds to the next match. Maybe that's by intentional. Maybe it's just, like, the connection thing. <laughs> really not certain, though. So, like, let's, let's tie it down just a little bit. And if that doesn't work, then who knows what's gone wrong. I never knew sausage rolls were British. I didn't know they were British either, right? Like, you just they're just a thing, right? Everyone knows sausage rolls. I guess maybe because I only speak to British people because I only live in the UK. And I guess sausage rolls don't come up that often. Like, you talk about sausage rolls when you get at sausage rolls. But yeah, I, I'd say when you're in the UK. I'm going to say when and not if. You need to indulge in a Greg sausage roll. Like, there are places that no doubt do sausage rolls better, but, I mean, the Greg sausage roll is, like, the iconic default British one. And they sell them in, like, four packs, 
So if you think one sausage roll is enough, you want to have a whole meal of just sausage rolls. How, how did that happen? Um, then that's a thing you can do. Fun facts with Toy Cat. That's a person. Let's shoot them. Do they see me? Oh, that should have been a double kill. I don't know how the second guy didn't die. Where is he? Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, what happened? I, sh I shot him in the face. It was like the epic double kill, but then the second plus 100 didn't show up. Oh, I'm dead. I'm, I... That staircase is... That's a trick. That's not okay. You can't just have a pretend staircase. Where is your gas mask? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should leave this game and find a new one. It's not a bad idea. Oh, tea's provided. Oh god. We got him. It's good. I think using a launcher on these guys. Okay, you're not back out of the shotgun. There was another enemy here. Go. Where's he at? Where's he at? There he is. <laughs> oh, he had his own combat shotgun custom. Let's use his shotgun. Well, that shotgun's good. <laughs> uh, when I go to the UK, get Greg's sausage rolls. You'll find a Greg's literally everywhere. It's like the most common thing. I don't know. I don't understand how there is a bakery chain. As, and the further north you go, the more Greg's appear. Oh god. Don't know how they came from there. But it's upsetting anyway. Quickly give the shotgun an uh, incendiary reload. No, let's do this. They've also changed since the beta, so you don't get your incendiary shells by default. You have to reload your gun. And it seems like it's just to annoy people who use shotguns. There is no other good reason to do it. Like, maybe it's game balance to annoy shotgun users, but it feels rude. This guy coming just round this corner here. And he's dead too. Give the shotgun a reload. No one expects the next shotgun. Oh, no, he, he apparently expects it. So we give this a good old reload. Fire this around the corner. Oh, that was such a good shot. Okay, so apparently this thing has insane range. If you can, like, nail them in the center. And if you can't, then you die. If he knows I have a shotgun, I'm dead. He doesn't. Okay, please don't get me. Please don't get me. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know why I looked at the grenade. Like, looking at it wasn't going to help me. That was just objectively questionable decisions. One shot. Go for a crouch. Enemy bomb incoming. Get to cover. Air package descending. Protect the Two shots. No one expects you to come from over here. Yeah, these recon air planes, like. Maybe because we've got a lot of them, but like they're giving so much information. For a shotgun player, it seems basically OP. Then there's a second guy. Already dead. <laughs> Third guy, just over that. Now we have to reload. No more guy, oh god. There's a guy on the staircase somewhere. Oh my god, that range is so ridiculous for a shotgun. There's also not kebabs in the US like in the UK. Kebabs are a specialty item. That is so shocking because literally any, any street, any town, Anywhere in the UK, you will find kebabs. Like, more kebabs than you'll find pretty much anything else. Kebabs are basically British. The amount we have them, you know? Like how if you go to America, you'll find, like, a burger somewhere. You'll find multiple kebabs. There's a guy behind that. Oh, God, too many guys. Too many guys. Actually, my game, Big Shoei, seems to love your streams that much. She sits directly in front of them, so I can't see. <laughs> I love that your guinea pig is an IBX Toy Cat fan. That is one of the few things I love in this world. Uh, Swirly Hamster. Why is he running away? Oh, he didn't see me, that's why. Oh, well, that's me dead. Hide behind here for a bit. 
Oh, two kills. Is the third guy down there. So that was a really good game. Like, it started awful, turned it around, because it's the London Docks. Unfortunately, it's impossible to get, like, a proper, like, end game kill. But still, it was pretty good. Yeah, the, the whole kebab thing shocks me, because they're, they're, like, everywhere too. Even if you go to another European country, just all over Europe, you'll find kebabs. Um, everywhere. Literally everywhere. So I just found it shocking that there isn't any there. So as you can see, I came second in that game. Despite using an explosive shotgun on the map. I don't know if it was designed for it. But that felt good. That felt good. Oh. It's like, do you say it the official way or do you say Oreos or Oreos? I say Oreos. You say all the sounds and the order they come up in. I, w I wish that was just how everyone did English. Some people are like... You know what, let's just add some random gaps to this word. And it's like, why can't it just be, you know, uh, why, why, why can't, it, like, there's a place in the UK called Chelmsford, but apparently it's not Chelmsford. There's a billion examples of just like, or Nottingham. You could call it Nottingham. I'm not going to be offended. Uh, see, it, it takes me, like, the whole time we have outside of the game just to do this. I want to prestige my weapon. Let me prestige my weapon. <laughs> don't show me. I don't care about this. And then there's eight seconds. And then, okay, we have to like back out then. If you want to do this. Which is weird, but... Sure. So what we do is we go to Soldier. Active boost. So I have double XP apparently. And then we go to... I don't know how we just see like the open area. Okay, there we go. You press B a bunch. And now I'm like a Soldier. And what do you do with your life, Roxy? Watch Toy Cat all day. <laughs> I'm probably streaming a third time today on the main channel, so too many streams. Too many streams. So we can prestige our shotgun. And now I get my clan tag, and I get XP rewards for each weapon level. And then I can do that a few times if I want to. Kind of like a Black Ops system. Again, they, they want to go back to basics on as many things as they can. Which is cool enough, I guess. Oh, and there's a little section for zombies. Oh, and that just takes you to Nazi zombies. It's weird, there's a little basement where they admit the zombies are there. I guess it's nice that it's all combined together. And then there's a theater. Found over here. Let's go watch some stuff. Gameplay recording blocked because you entered a blocked scene. So... Are you guys all seeing this too? Because the game just told me it's blocked. But, okay. Thank you for the heads up. I thought Fit meant something else. And then also, just a random dude here. So we're going to go back to mail. Okay, there's nothing in here. But the game wants me to go buy a collection item. So we'll buy the cheapest thing we can buy to make the game happy. So, because I want the shotgun, level 2. I don't know where that even is found in here. Sort of shotgun. Oh, that's a different thing, actually. Where would it be, actually? Maybe you can't get a better shotgun. Or maybe I just don't know what it's called. Double barrel, right? Okay, just M1911. MP40, Panzer Shrek. Well, no, we'll just do the toggle action. Alright, we've got something for the short solo. So we buy the cheapest thing we can. A war-torn background nice. and now I got a quest done go me well that was not worth the time <laughs> so let's, let's go into another game I could try free for all but I think team deathmatch is much better for this sort of thing because you get behind enemy lines and then you fire at them before they know what you're doing so you can't do you prefer KFC or Subway so here's the funny thing about both KFC and Subway they're like way bigger operations than you ever even realize. Uh, I don't. I don't have anything to put on this. I have a clan tag though and camouflage. Okay, no camouflage. <laughs> I feel like there should be a language everyone has to learn so we can all talk to each other, even if they're from a different place. Ah, that language already exists, Kale Wheels, and it's called English. No, this sounds really like ignorant foreigner to say. But literally everywhere, English is the second language in terms of like at an airport or at like an international place. If lots of international people go somewhere, 
there'll be English in some form. Uh, even countries that don't speak any English, really, like Russia, people speak Russian. Oh, sorry, people speak English for most, like, big things. It's kind of shocking. I've never had Subway, though I don't know why. But yeah, the thing about Subway is, and KFC is they're both, like, I think they're both bigger than McDonald's, even. Or maybe they're second and third, but, like, Check your weapons. my the point enemy. is they're big. And I prefer Subway, because, like, my KFC sucks. There's too much variance in KFC. What is this map? It's huge. I guess we'll just chill on this little line here. Wait till this guy gets shot, and then go kill the guy who shoots him. Apparently that's not effective. I guess all the other guys went through the middle somewhere? Yeah, this is not a friendly map for shotguns. Like, the size of this thing is just... <laughs> It's huge. Oh, my connection's through bars all of a sudden. Maybe it was the, the host of the last game. Maybe he just lived in, like, Ireland or something. Reich spawn. Oh, oops. So this means eating in Germany. But there's also a town in Germany called Eating, where I live. There's so many places get a bit of sub than Subway. Yeah, I guess that's one of those cultural things where just, like, there's a lot of sub places I've been that are better than Subway. But... They're not common at all. Like, Subway's the only one you'll find in every town. There's seven Subways in my town, I think. Like, it's not even, it's not a very big town. We apparently just love our Subways. <laughs> it's, it's kind of shocking, like... The fact that, like, six Subways existed, and then there was, it was a smart enough business decision to say, let's try it, let's try another one, yeah? Maybe seven is the ma magic number. Oh, that guy had a shovel. Maybe seven's the magic number after all. Like, I don't know. It's just, just one of those things, I guess. I don't know how I'm going to kill that guy with a shotgun. The answer is I'm not. What's my Burger King when you get Burger King McDonald's? I think Burger King does better at the high-end market than McDonald's does. Oh, God. Oh, they got a sniper. That's a good secondary. Enemy care package observed. Deny the enemy resupply. So I guess we'll go shoot someone with it. He's gonna come out there eventually. Am I wrong? He's doing something back there. He's... Oh god. <laughs> There's a guy running out of a shovel. <laughs> How did he know I was there? Interesting. He's going 4-0 with that shovel, so... He knows something about his game. Like, you can't even mock a guy who's doing that well. You just have to say, well done. Although I have a little thing on my screen. A little radar. I'm not sure what that means. Maybe I died too many times in a row. It's gone now, okay. Yeah, I don't know what this map is, but finding people seems to be half the problem. Yeah, the shovel is one of the more popular weapons in this game. It's just the default melee weapon. Because they got rid of, like, the instant knife to just hit people with these guns. And if they just have a knife, then everyone used the knife. So they're like, let's have a shovel and a rake. Don't know what that guy was doing. Recon air Darn it. <laughs> I hit someone with that rocket. <sighs> um, by the way, it's Happy Friday. Happy Friday to yourself as well. I hope the season is well on you. Very well, maybe. Okay, that guy. Probably didn't need to the second shot, but he looked like he was trying to shoot me. So, what's a man gonna do? I needed a toy cat twisted drumstick right now. There are only 10 p like, Freddo's, I I didn't believe this. I thought this was people, like, doing that, like, dead joke of, like, oh, now Freddo's cost a million pounds. But Freddo's cost 30 p now. Like, that's so unbelievable to me. It's hard to describe how many things 
are that unbelievable to me. Uh, like 30 p for like a tiny, the tiniest piece of chocolate I can imagine too. It's not like they got bigger at some point. It's just at some point, the acceptable price for a Fredo became 30 pounds. Okay, I'm gonna get shot if I do this wrong. Oh, I was really hoping I'd hit it there. You know, let's let's try again. We can do this. Oh, nailed it. I have so much candy left. I if I had that much candy left, I would just eat it all at once, feel bad, and then for the rest of the year, you remember why you don't want candy. Also, yeah, Freddo's cost thirty p. I don't know since when, Swirly. I thought 10p was a tragedy, honestly. Like, 10p was enough where you're like, well, they've lost their only selling point to me, which is that they were cheap. I guess because so many people buy them just because they used to buy them. Like, it's such an easy product market to milk. Maybe. It's the only thing I can start with. <laughs> this is not a friendly map for shotguns. I'm killing people with them somehow. But the map does not support this. Or maybe it does because no one's expecting shotguns. Like it's all about flanking. Well, that was a useful grenade. <laughs> okay, there's a guy over there. I just have to chase him halfway across the map and hope no one sees me on the way. Is that a guy? That is a guy. We'll run this way a bit. Oh god, there's a guy. We both have short range weapons. <laughs> Both fiery short range. What is Fredos? Oh, Fredos are like one of the tiniest Cadbury. It's like the size of like one of those little Cadbury. I guess Cadbury's isn't a big brand in America, but it's like the size of one little bar of chocolate. You know, one bar of a big, one bar of a small bar of chocolate. If that makes any sense. It was a tiny chocolate, and you could buy them for five p. The idea being like, well, if you have five p left over, or you want to buy like three of them. And they, they cost 5p for the longest time. And then they went to like 10p. And then they just started escalating from there. Well. I don't know what to do now. Let's just chase these guys. I can do it. I can do it. Look at this. Oh no, he's not dying. He's not dying. He's not dying. <laughs> okay, that was... He gave me time to reload fully. Oh god. I knew he was coming. I just knew I couldn't kill him with one shot. So I can't you could make a twisted drumsticks cake. I feel like drumsticks wouldn't make a good cake. Maybe that's me being cynical. But that's what I assume. But yeah, it's a chocolate frog's the best way to explain it actually. But like a really tiny chocolate frog, you know? Like really tiny. Like, you, you wouldn't eat one by itself for any real reason. And then at 30p, you know, like... What market does the... Does the 30p Freddo fill? Although I really like the caramel ones. The ones that are filled with a bit of caramel. That's kind of good. I, I like playing around with those. Would recommend it, in fact. Recon searching for targets. So there's a recon aircraft inbound. Guy over here. No anymore, he's not. <laughs> well, those chocolates you have, the honey comes in, they're awesome. I think that's crunchy, Ryan Wool. Yeah, British chocolate's the best. Like, I'm pretty sure at some point we made chocolates because we love them. Like, it didn't get like that crazy commercialized level until later. So we have a bunch of like nostalgic memories, basically. There's a guy there. You went this way? <laughs> Wrong way, buddy. <laughs> oh, we're still gonna lose this game, even if I'm doing well. Like, it's one more death, and it's probably gonna be me. I've used a chocolate log, and I love having chocolate logs at Christmas. I don't actually know chocolate log. Uh, is that like the, the twirly thing of like cream, then chocolate, sponge, then cream? 
Or is that something else? Because I don't actually like those. So, okay, come up with your own candy. Describe how it tastes and what it looks like. Three, two, one. Okay, go. This is Kale Wheels. Okay, so it's like... How about chocolate and then honeycomb and then caramel and then nougat and then chocolate and then caramel, nougat, chocolate and then surround the whole thing in a scoop of ice cream. There you go. Well, like, not, I guess not ice cream. Yeah, actually, no ice cream and then make it like a, a Mars bar ice cream thing. But not Mars bar, of course. There you go. There's my idea. It's golden. It's perfect. I'm sure you love it. <laughs> It just mirrors the stream delayed more on this channel than the main one. Uh, maybe I'm just not responding to comments the same. Look at the time it takes me to leave a game. What, is my PS4 broken or something? It might just be that I'm taking long to respond to comments. I could show you, like, right now, it's 1619. Um, your candy sounds expensive. I'd buy it. Someone else would buy it too, I'm sure. There'd be like two buyers. It'd be perfect. Do, do, do. So, pretty good, all things considered. I think we'll do one more. We'll put our... If we have time, that is. So, I want to change this basic training to be like... Reload faster and while sprinting. It's probably the best one I can have for a double bounce shotgun. And then we'll put our steady aim on again. And a reflex sight, just because it's fun. Uh, M1911, we can't afford one yet. We can have a US... Sh it takes... You have to get to rank 35 to be trusted with a shovel. That seems a bit silly, if you ask me. Okay, buy that. Buy that. Now we have the sniper rifle. Not that I really want a sniper rifle. But it's nice to have anyway. And then we'll like set up these other classes because we got some spare time it seems. I spent all that time complaining about time and now I have like a bit too much because the game felt emptied out. So we'll vote for a map or something. USS Texas? Sure. Will this live stream become a video on the channel after? Yeah, it will actually. I think it will. Remember your fab wrapping so I can't? A lot of people do actually. But yeah, I think... We're still doing like, we're still gonna do like, uh, some of these challenges. Get 500 kills, 25 kills in the DDM match. Oh, you can collect a bunch of these challenges. Interesting how that works. This whole game is like laid out in a really interesting different way. It's strange, it's strange. So yeah, I wanna play a game on the USS Texas, cause of course, I don't know, I don't know what the USS Texas even is. I assume it's a famous World War II ship. Don't know why we're fighting on it. Did the Germans raid it? Or are the Americans just fighting themselves to, to train a bit? Let's let's find out, I guess. Check your weapons. Hunt the enemy. See with this with this sight on, like, what is this shotgun? Why would anyone put this sight on this shotgun? Oh, I guess on the Axis, so I'm the Germans. Sorry for all those war crimes. Remember Didn't mean training. to. Oh look at that reload speed. I don't know why I didn't have that the whole time. Would have probably saved me like several times. Why am I running through the center of this map? Oh, it's um, it's that map from Black Ops Two. Yeah, it totally is as well. How did I miss that twice? How did I not kill him after four shots? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Don't like killing people anyway. How did this guy miss me? You're not. Lots of questions today. Oh, I don't have the extended range on. That's why I'm. That's why it's so weak. So, yeah, prestiging this weapon is like a real trade off. It's a thing you gotta watch out for, I guess. Nothing going on here. I think I just got pistoled to death. I searched IBX Toy Cat song on YouTube and a random song came up by a random person. It's a shame I've never done a Toy Cat song. I hear the diss track market's really big these days. Could make some mad views. Ouch. <laughs> did I get sniped or something? Oh, I did get sniped. 
Oh, that's that's a new one. Toy catism. Sure, toy catism. That's the philosophy of following toy cat beliefs. I'm down with it. If you're down with it. Oh god, okay, so there's a way to fall off this map, it seems. Interesting. Give this a reload. So the tips for this last game, I think that I've got to keep in my own mind. I like try and find whatever's close quarters. It's a really long map. So knowing what's close and what's not. But the inside, the interior is probably the best bet. It's always close range inside, right? Is there a second guy? No, there's not. God damn. <laughs> you, I don't know how to cancel reloads yet. I guess why why? But that did not go as planned. To say the least. Okay. That guy's just too far in the distance, so instead we'll go for this guy down here. And then there's another guy coming to me. I'll see it I'll see his feet under there. There he is. No, that's a flag. <laughs> There's a guy in the, the, the background trying to snipe me, though. Gotta stay away from that. Judaism, Confuci Confucianism, and Toycatism. Exactly, worship of Toycat as a god. At one point, for like a religious class, my friends generally did that. We're like, we are the religion of Andrew. He is our god, through it otherwise. Made things awkward for the religious teacher. Which is really all you're trying to do in a religious lesson. Trying to make the teacher question themselves more than, more than they question you. Go for this guy. He can't. Oh god. Missed twice. Won't miss again. Okay, that's a corpse. <laughs> no point shot shooting at that. Okay, so I think our team's gonna win this one. I'm doing okay, but I'm just not finding people. Like, this is just a trap. <clears throat> yeah, there's, there's so many, like, wide open, enclosed areas. Like, they're open, but they're enclosed at the same time. Sorry, they're enclosed, but they're open at the same time. Which sounds like it doesn't make sense. Because it shouldn't make sense. It just kind of does. Nailed him. <laughs> Can't get me a bit pistol. Got one guy, run away from the second guy. Got another guy, there's a guy coming out back here. Oh god. Okay, I'm out of ammo. Darn it. <laughs> that was a really good streak though. That was a really good streak. Like for a shotgun, where you get like one bullet, sometimes two. It feels good when you get sometimes- Oh, there's a guy who came to see me. Did he not know I was there? <laughs> it's a shame to waste a kill just to use a kill streak, but... I just want to hug someone. I got punched in the face. I'm not on purpose by my friend. See, it's better than being punched in the face on purpose by a friend. I've accidentally, like, elbowed people in the face a bunch of times. Like, I had a girlfriend I used to keep doing that to. It's like, I swear, this is not domestic abuse. I just, I'm trying to look out the window or something. And you don't, you don't keep track of where your elbows are going. You, you should, but I don't. And apparently elbows, like, they're made from, like, basically pure steel. Not actually pure steel, as it turns out. But they might as well be. That's sweet, you'll be able to come see you evening game. <laughs> right. I, I don't know, like, what that guy was trying to do. But clearly he just loves me. That's the clear takeaway. So yeah, this map is asymmetrical. I didn't realize, I thought it was symmetrical, like, perfect. Interesting, so all the people are over there. That guy is slowly coming closer to me. Oh, there we go. <laughs> How come your Xbox copy of the game didn't work? 
I still do not know. Like, I want to show you, actually. Can we do that? Let's try. So I might cut off the game midway through. I'm not sure. Okay, so before we go, thank you for watching today's live stream. Like if you liked it. You can do whatever you're, else you want if you want to. But... Okay, so switching over to the Xbox. If it works all of a sudden, I'll look silly. But it wasn't working this morning. So it says Call of Duty World War II pre-ordered. I, you've ordered it, but it's not out yet. So you go to open it, and it says, we know you want to get started, but you'll have to wait a bit longer. See the Microsoft store for the launch day. So you go to, oh, it doesn't show you anything, sorry. <laughs> okay, let me show you. Uh, can you get a refund? It was a free copy of the game, sadly. Or not sadly, happily. So it just means I didn't get a game which I thought I'd gone. Like it came with my Xbox One. Um, yeah, it's not showing up on the screen. My Xbox One just doesn't want to show you anything right now. Yeah, that's weird actually. Okay, wait, maybe it's got HDCP mode on? Nope, it just refuses to show you. Okay, I swear. It just says, we want to get started, but you're going to have to wait a bit longer. It says, go to the Microsoft Store. So imagine this right now. And then the Microsoft Store just says play. And then you press play. And it says, we don't know why it's working. Go to the Microsoft Store. And it loops back around to itself. Because the game is out. But my game does not count as out yet. It counts as a pre-order. I don't know how that's happened. It has happened to no one else. It's just me. So, IDK, question mark, question mark, question mark. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this live stream. Uh, and I'll see you in another one. Goodbye. Later tonight, actually. Like, three hours from now. Something like that. Okay, see you there.